Und zwar deswegen, weil hier sich ein Ziel anbot, das nicht äh, dem Terror... Carlton Brunner joined the Nazi party and the SS in Austria in 1932. He was party member 300179 and SS member 1303. The first time you met him, was it, was it in Rome? It was, it was, it, it, it was. Um, uh, you know, um, um, there was a so-called Red Room, yeah? Uh, uh, the Red Room was uh, the key negotiating uh, room. In the Red Room it took place the negotiations on the, on the uh, jurisdiction and on the competence of the court. So this was the key, this was the key place. This was, uh, this was current Article 12, current Article mm -hmm. 13, uh, current Article 15. And um, at that time, Germany had already a reputation as one of the most, um, um, let, let's say, uh, court-friendly, court-court-court-friendly negotiating countries. Mm -hmm. So I saw Whitney and Ferenc, um, uh, uh, and, and um, all the time uh, at the at the NGO gallery. And after the meeting, they would come, and um, I was impressed by 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 making this acquaintance. And um, uh, you could see that this was a man of extraordinary stature. And um, so, um, uh, uh, and it was it was quite clear that he he himself sought the contact with, 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 with the German mm -hmm. head of delegation. And so we, 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 we after a while, we, 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 we met daily, yeah? And uh, um, uh, when finally the climax came on, um, on the 17th of July, he was there, Fer Ferenc was there, uh, and there was this explosion of joy and we embraced each other. Uh, and Whitney, um, Whitney um, he uh, uh, said, we must stay in contact. Here you have my card, and, 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 and we must stay in, in, in contact. And you call me Whitney, yeah? <laughs> you call me Whitney. Um, Whitney, uh, as I said, had, uh, had urged me to stay in contact, and it was his is is almost his his fixed idea yeah is his his, his vision uh, he it was he was so focused on this idea he should be there when the german parliament of the new german uh, would 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 ratify the icc law mm -hmm. yeah so and uh, he called me and he said when is it and i said i don't know yet but don't cool it whitney um, um, I will not fail. I will not fail to 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 inform you. And um, as I was responsible for this law, it was uh, it was no big deal uh, to to know exactly the date. So I could tell him uh, he arrived with with Anna. And um, uh, well, uh, he he, he uh, on the day of the ratification. Um, there was in the Süddeutsche Zeitung a huge portrait of, of Whitney by a, by, a, by a top German journalist, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, <coughs> Stefan Ulrich, who was also an ICC mm -hmm. um, um, uh, uh, supporter. And um, so um, Whitney, uh, at, at, 
at that day, uh, the, the, the members of parliament uh, who, and then their staff, it was such a thing on the third page, which is a prominent page. Anyway, Whitney was sitting on the, on the, on the gallery of honor of the, of the Reichstag alone. There was nobody there than him. Yeah? Wow. Him, and he was sitting up there. I was sitting um, on the government bench. Be in front of me, two rows in front of me, Chancellor Schroeder, beside him, um, uh, Foreign Minister Fischer. And the third bench is reserved for the senior officials of the government dealing with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, um, uh, the entire parliament was there because we also had to amend the constitution uh, to, to uh, uh, enable surrenders of German nationals to the... And when we have a constitutional amendment, it's like in the US, the entire parliament has to be in there. Right. So uh, they were all there. And uh, so um, the, the uh, ICC ratification law was passed unanimously. The constitutional amendment was passed with 527 yes votes, two, extend, two ex, uh, abstentions and one non, no vote. And then it said this was it. And when uh, this um, had happened, the deputy foreign minister, one of my bosses, got up and he said, uh, dear colleagues, as you are probably already aware, we, has, we have as guest of honor Whitney Harris, the former Nuremberg prosecutor, and may I propose that you all, that we all rise in, in honor of his work mm -hmm. and, and, and in honor of the work of Robert Jackson and in honor of all what, what Nuremberg has done for the German people. Yeah? And they all rose. They all rose, and the records of the Bundestag, and I have, I have them in my personal archive, they note standing ovation and a long applause. Afterwards, uh, Whitney and, and I agreed that in the evening we would, ha we, would have, uh, we would celebrate this special day a little bit. And he invited me to the Adlon Hotel, which is just opposite the Brandenburg Gate, also a place full of history and you can lo look from the Adlon Hotel to the Reichstag and to the Brandenburg Gate, yes? Mm -hmm. And um, we celebrated. And then we had a glass of wine, and, uh, and I have uh, uh, written about the story a number of times. I have written articles on the legacy of Nuremberg. And then Whitney, um, he, he, he paused a little bit, and um, then he said, and it was almost as if he would speak to himself, he said um, uh, that Germany has now become, um, uh, well, one of the most steadfast authors, most, the most steadfast supporter of, of, of international justice. This is full circle for me. And it, it's a sign that our legacy uh, lives on. And then we had our, 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 our toast, and um, we had a good evening. And you've been friends ever since? Ever, ever since, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, um, we, it, was, it was then a personal thing. 